Welcome back to Probe the Act on Deep Stuff Radio. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Uh, welcome back and thank you for joining us again on uh, Probe the Act on Deep Stuff Radio. Um, we have uh, Simon M. Harris. He was just uh, telling us a minute ago about um, where he's played his first gig. And then the next question that we're going to ask um, Simon is... Uh, where, where was your latest gig? My latest gig was in Gothenburg, uh, where I live, uh, in Sweden, uh, at a place, a club called uh, Henriksberg. Ah. Yeah, that's a Swedish name. That's Swedish for you. <laughs> yeah, it sounds posh, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's like a, a club that maybe takes on 200 guests or something like that so wow. a small small club it is a small venue but yeah yeah big, yeah big big still big in a way you know yeah yeah for me it was great because it was the first time that i actually had a full band to play my music all right uh like drums and keyboards and bass and everything so i wasn't alone anymore yeah yeah you 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 were starting to join the big boys now yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, when you play your songs live, mm-hmm. is it uh, do you do you select the songs or is it the same songs that you you play? Um, I mean, how do you how do you do you, how do you come up with the selection of a song? It does it depend on the audience? You know. Yeah, I think both. Maybe the audience and the um, setting of the gig, because like I said, uh, like now I had a, a full band, and I had three of my friends who, who joined me. Yeah. And uh, so then I then I pick out songs that I know will sound the best on four guys. Yeah. Um, and when I'm totally alone, I choose my setup. Maybe I do it with a computer and I loop some stuff live and then I have to choose songs that can fit into looping yeah it's not every song would sound good like that so yeah. it, it depends on what what the setup is oh, really? mostly so when did you decide to go all in for the music um, all in for the music hmm I, I, I don't know um if I've ever done that, actually, right. I've ever gone all in, but um, when I wanted to, how to put it? I mean, you, you, yeah. you, you obviously at some point in your life, you, you thought, wait, wait a minute, I can hum a tune. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you thought, hmm, does it sound good? Does it not sound good? And then you thought, I wonder how it sound if I record it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I guess it was maybe hmm, I, I I did my first album when I was living at home still with my parents. I think it was finished um, two thousand and seven. Uh, seven, yeah. not seventeen, of course. Two thousand seven. <laughs> um, so so I, I guess maybe that would be the time because to sit down and record an album, you still have to be kind of. Uh, sure that you want to do this yeah uh, because it takes a lot of time and effort that's true so uh, I, I guess that would be a, a way of, of saying that I went I went for it yeah what, what? That, 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 yeah sorry yeah. go on sorry Jim, oh I was just finishing off my sentence <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, okay yeah so what are your goals with your music um I, I guess I just want people as many people as possible to hear my music yeah um uh, to I, I don't intend making it uh, a full I, I mean if my how to put it if my weekdays could be full of only doing music yeah that would be uh, great that would be the dream to work with music would it yeah um, but uh, I, I don't want it to take up my whole life no uh, as to leave family and everything behind so that's true yeah the, the goal would be just to maybe keep doing what I'm doing, uh, recording with my own um, t- 
time, uh, what, how to say, pressure. Yeah. And, and kind of setting the schedule and the planning myself. Yeah. But get it, getting people to hear it. Wow, um, that's great. That's great. I, I wouldn't mind if I was the next. I mean, uh, listener wise, the next Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> say no to that. I mean, yeah. Well, it'd be, it'd be, well, your music's good enough. I mean. It's, it's, it's really yeah yeah yeah. I mean no seriously. I've had uh, I've had great feedbacks from your music from you know listeners on the radio. You know saying wow that's uh, you know who sang that song and stuff like that. You know and uh, yeah yeah serious yeah. So it's it's, it's really really good. Um, a matter of fact, we'll, we'll be talking some business after this time anyway. But um, it, it's good yeah it's good. So. Uh, we're going to take a short break now and then uh, we'll be back with uh, Simon M. Harris, uh, singer-songwriter from Sweden with an American accent. Um, <laughs> I keep saying that because it puzzles I gotta me. Put this, I got to put this on my business card. Uh, yeah, you would. You should. You should actually. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll be back shortly. And um, yeah, don't go away. Um, you're listening to Deep Stuff Radio and you're listening to Probe the Act.